This is Lincoln's West Common, which is one of three pieces of common land in the city of Lincoln. And I've come out today to the common, really, just to take a few photos, because in truth, I've not really taken many photos over the last few weeks, mainly because of Christmas, really. It's got in the way and stopped me going out and taking photos. But I decided I needed to get out. I needed to just take some photos, and I've decided to come down the common land. So I haven't been here for a while and see what shots I can get. The truth is, it's, it's a freezing cold day. When I looked out my window today, it was just completely cloudy and uninspiring. And the sort of weather where you didn't feel like coming out, it's it's five degrees or about 40 Fahrenheit today. And it's just, it, it it's uninspiring completely. But I think even in the most uninspiring weather, there's always uh, an opportunity to take a photo. So there must be a photo here. There must be. Uh, the fact that the um, the clouds aren't as bad, the weather isn't as bad as uh, I thought it was before I come out is a positive thing. Although there's not a lot here, it's a bit of a bland, blank common. Um, I'm hopeful the horses will be out and I can see or we'll take a few photos of the horses. Well, join along with me and let's see what photos we can find today. And I decided that the right footwear was to come out in my wellies because... We've had so much rain recently in the UK. I thought it was going to be a bit boggy down here, and it, that's exactly what it is. It's really boggy and wet, and I would never get away with a pair of shoes here. So I've spotted this wooded area where it looks like children have been playing and leading lots of um, things about on trees and things, and I've spotted a few birds here. So I might just give a few minutes to see if I can... Um, see any birds and try to take a bit of video or a photo of some birds you often find at this time of year when it's cold and a bit dark and slightly damp it's really difficult to have the motivation to come out and take some photos but sometimes you just got to push yourself sometimes you just got to go for it and you'll be surprised at the photos you can take even in the the sort of worst conditions if you like um while i was waiting for the birds around this sort of little copse of of, of wood i've just spotted a few of these sort of like man-made birds if you like and there's a picture of a robin just there and i'm going to go and try and take a picture using my canon 400d just a basic camera with a basic uh, kit lens uh, 1855 kit lens and i'm going to try and take a picture of that bird the sun's just coming out just there now it's just bright and it's lighting up that uh, nice robin that's there so i'm going to take this shot at least i get one picture of a bird today and hopefully this comes out okay i'm going to try and do a um a widest aperture i can to try to isolate that bird in the background even though it's not real it's it's still going to be a picture of a bird i still want it to be right so here goes let's see what i can do with this picture I'm in manual mode, I've gone 1 40th of the second and f5.6. Let's see how what that picture looks like now. I've spotted the horses right behind me, so I'm going to walk over to the horses and try and get a nice shot. The sun behind me that side looks really good it's hopefully it's going to get some nice sun today or this afternoon and it might illuminate this park and uh, the common and these horses and the things around it really nicely let's hope it does i'll go over to the horses now and try and get a shot of one of the horses this big white horse here looks amazing really lovely big black and white horse and i don't know if you can see it but right behind it it's got ellis mill which is a uh, a mill up on the hill in Lincoln. And if I can, I'll try and find a nice composition to maybe get the horse and the mill in at the same time. The horses are just sat here, just grazing. They're not really doing a lot apart from eating. So I should be able to get the, the, the plenty of time, compose my shot with the cannon and get the, the mill and the horse in at the same time. So here goes, let's see what I can do. Horses just, horses just turn to me and face me, so if I'm quick, I can get a nice shot with the horse looking at me and the mill in the background. I guess the mill is a bit too far away, really, to get any sort of meaningful content in the picture, but I've got a picture of the horse, his face looking at me. It's, it's fairly docile, it's not doing a lot. It's probably not very interesting. Now it's moved. <laughs> it's not very interesting in me. It's having a right old spurt. 
But um, yeah, so hopefully that's all right. It's a bit of a wide angle. I've gone for a wide angle shot. The horse's head with a tiny bit of background. As I expected, the common is fairly dull at this time in winter, right in the middle of January. And when I came to visit this sort of pond in the summer, it's full of life. It was full of all these lovely reeds. Uh, but they're still here. There's still some heads of these reeds that I might try and take some photos of. I uh, will use the, the Canon once again. I'll go 55 mil. And if I can then zoom in, because I can't get too close to these things, I can maybe zoom in and try to get one of the, the heads of these reeds and just try to uh, get a shot of that. I'll obviously, once again, I'll change my focus point so I can get focused in on this. And I'll just try and take a picture of that nice bit of sky in the background. And I'm going f5.6 because that's the uh, uh, the narrow, widest uh, aperture I could go with. And I'll do an upright shot as well. The sky looks good in the uh, in behind the reed, so I'll just uh, try and get a bit lower, get a bit of that sky in. I might have to lighten the sky down in post processing. But there is a, a, a lovely reflection of the trees and things on this pond. So I'll have a walk around this pond and see what I can do around this area. That's a nice shot of the pond with the nice reflection. The sun's behind it and I'll try to get a shot uh, with these rocks in the foreground and the lake in the midground. And I'll put the Canon uh, 400D in portrait mode so I can get... Uh, sort of that tree, that reflection in, and hopefully a bit more of the tree, all, all in uh, a portrait uh, image, so that it will get lots of things in the picture. That'd be quite nice. So just set that up now. But for this image, I've gone, I've gone actually gone f5, uh, one eightieth of a second, and I, as I said, I've got the camera in in portrait mode upright, so I can get in all these features and get these rocks in the image. The the sun's a bit bright in the sky, but it is making some nice nice colours in the in the water, nice light. So I'm going to take that shot slightly underexposed and there's that first one, you can see it straight away. That really looks nice, I like that a lot. What I might do is just um, just a slightly lighter shot and, and, and maybe combine the two so that I've got the, the rocks in the foreground are bright because of course the sun's blocking the, the light out. I think that looks like a really lovely picture. Now that the glow of the sun's gone in, and it's not burning out the, the shot, I think that'll look all right. I've taken a few different images of the pond behind me, really just trying to get the light, try to get the right light, those rocks in the foreground. And it just shows you, you might come out on a dull and lifeless day, and you never know what you'll find, a lovely, completely still pond with a nice sun uh, just coming down behind it and it'll open up those images that you never expect to find. It just shows you, you just got to come out actually and just take the shot, just go for it. I'm not sure if this piece of water behind me is normally a pond or if it's just it's just wet from all the rain we've had and it's just still lying water. It's possibly a bit of both because I think the horses do need to have somewhere they drink and I can't think of anywhere else in this common that provides that. Uh, as you can see, the nice speckled light of the sky it actually reflecting on this piece of water. It looks amazing. Um, I'm hoping I can get a shot. There's bits of um, plant foliage in the foreground that might make an interesting piece of foreground and then we've got this light behind us so I'm going to try and get a shot now try and take a shot of this right now and uh, let's see what this comes out like um, it does look a bit oily if I'm honest but let's, that shouldn't make any difference to my picture the light is fading fast now so I'm going to have to be quick now once again I'm using the cannon so I'll see what I can do with this cannon and see if I can get a nice shot So I'm going at F5 about one hundredth of a second. I'm going to get low to get the. I'm going to get low to get the best uh, reflection I can.
I've taken various shots of different orientations and different parts of the sky, and hopefully one of those will come out. And I'll put those up right now. Let's have a look at those. Because there's two sides to every story and there's two sides to every body of water. And that scene looks just amazing with the trees reflecting in the water, just like the pond over there and the nice golden sort of band of sky behind. I'm going to get a bit closer and get a bit further down and I'll try and take a shot of this. This is F5, uh, one sixtieth of the second. I hadn't needed to get low, as I said, because I'm standing in the middle of the water, so I've got all the reflection I need, but it definitely looks nice. We, we really need to see these shots now, see what they come out like, so hopefully they're all right. Because this camera doesn't have any sort of live view, it's difficult to see. I can chimp these now, really, and I can see that that looks lovely. The colours are amazing so fingers crossed when I've edited them we can have a look at them and they, they should be pretty nice pictures. I've gone landscape because there's, there's lots of nice lines of trees and it seemed to make sense to do a landscape shot. So now I've quickly walked around to the other side of the lake, so I'm the opposite end to was, uh, that I was before, mainly because that light there uh, looks good. It is just a bit flat and boring. Got some sort of sticky out plants in the foreground. It might help. It is a bit dim, but I think I like that. And then at that side as well, there's obviously some nice orangey colours, and lovely glow in the sky. So I'll do my best. Light's fading fast now, so my you know I'm going to be careful with my shutter speed. I might have to get a tripod in this water. But I'm loving all this. This is fab. I really enjoy enjoying these. Um, these views. That's first one, F5, and I'm just going 150 of the second. And I've got those sort of two lines of light, uh, sort of in a triangle going towards the building. And ultimately, if you can see it there, the cathedral, which is looking lovely. And now I go towards the grandstand, which was the grandstand for the race course that used to run around this West Common. I'll just turn you around and you can have a proper look at that now. Look at the lovely glow of that light on the top of that grandstand. It just looks just lovely. So I better get snapping quick. <laughs> I've got that grandstand on a third and there's a nice orange glow to the right of it. I'm probably going to have to brighten these images in post-production. Maybe I've got, I think I've got the shutter speed and the aperture right and almost going down to about one thirty of the second now because it's so dim. But, um, but I'm really pleased. So fingers crossed these pictures look good at the end. Just, I love this lake, the colours on this, this sort of lake, this pool of water is just immense. This really goes, it's just unexpected. Time to go now before it gets too dark that I can't find my way home. Uh, thank you very much for watching indeed. I hope you enjoyed this, I hope you found it interesting. And if you have enjoyed it, if you have found it interesting, why not give it a like? Just hit the like button, that would be fantastic. It would make my day as well, that would be wonderful. And if you like this type of content that I'm trying to create, this photography content, why not subscribe to the channel? That would really make my day. Well, that would be wonderful if you would. And it really is as simple as pressing the button and you're in. Uh, that would be wonderful. Uh, thank you very much indeed for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.